Hi, Zane Griggs here coming to you from PhysioFit in Nashville, Tennessee. Today in a basic movement series, I'm going to show you how to do hip thrusters. Now, hip thrusters are a great movement to activate the glutes and open up the hip flexors. I feel like most of us, we sit a little too much, uh, whether we're driving or at a desk, and it tends to height, tighten up those hip flexors and really deactivate the glutes. So this is a great one for both, as I said, reactivating the glutes, working the glutes, and opening up the hip flexors. So, uh, in my opinion, the ideal way to do it to get a little more glute activations, particularly the glute medius, I like to use a loop band while doing these because it makes you push out against the band, okay, and activate that muscle that rotates the hip, okay. So you want to start with putting your loop band on right about the level of the knee. And you want the knees or the feet spread about, about shoulder width, give or take, depending on what you, what you need. Find that appropriate tension that you can use for the band. And you're going to drop out to your shoulders. So you're resting your shoulder blades, shoulders on a bench. And you're going to drop down. Now I have a weight here to use. I'll show you how to use that in a second. But you can start by just body weight. Get used to it. Drop down, keeping the heels on the floor and then press up as much as you can. You don't want to, let's say, overarch the back, but you want to extend the hips up as much as you can towards the ceiling so you are a table, essentially. Creating a flat surface, drop down again, push up, driving through the heels. Driving through the heels, we'll put more of the work through the hamstring and the glute. Now we want to add a little weight to that. You're going to want to find a way, or have someone help you. Put a weight here right across uh, the waistline here, resting on your hip bone. And again, drop down, and then driving all the way up, fully extending the hips here. Driving through the heels so the glutes are firing, you're gonna feel those right through here. You should not feel them in your back, not overarching the back, keeping the neutral spine, and extending the hip. Flexing those glutes at the top, driving up through the heel. Make sure the bench you're leaning on is stable, will not move away from you. So that is the hip thruster. Again, find yourself a loop band and a decent sized dumbbell that you can manage to put on yourself. Okay, you'll see some people in the gym also using a barbell. Work your way up to that if you want, but you can definitely get a lot done in the glutes without a whole lot of weight, especially if you're using a loop band. So, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out at zanegriggs.com. Talk to you later.